welcome once again to another edition of the Red Brennan Williams Real Estate Show. I'm Shannon Deskins along with Jennifer Brown Day. And Jennifer, I guess with everything blooming and color starting to come back into things, we were talking off camera just a minute ago about it being a good time for people to list their homes. Absolutely, and it's a popular time for people to list their homes. Everybody wants to put their homes on when spring is coming. You can get the good pictures for the MLS websites and the ads, so it's the perfect time to go ahead and start doing that. Well, and that's that time before the yards start getting grown and, and everything's pretty. I guess it's if I had to think in my mind what the good time for curb appeal would be, it would have to be spring. Yes, yes, it is. Well, you've got all the flowers. You've got, mm -hmm. and you know, this area is so pretty spring and fall. And you, you always have a pretty summer because everything's still bloomed. Right. But those two times are just great for curb appeal and pictures and that kind of stuff for any of the listings. All right, if someone is wanting to list their home, just real quick, you guys have four locations throughout East Kentucky. We do. We have a location here in Pikeville. Mm -hmm. And then, of course, we have one in Prestonsburg, our main office, which is out of Paintsville. Mm -hmm. And then we have an office in Louisa. Okay. Now, those four locations are going to be good if you want to list or if you're interested in buying something they already have listed. And we're going to show you five of those today. All right. The first one, all these are going to be your listings today. Mm -hmm. So, let's start on the north side of Pike County. Okay. Let's do it. The first one we've got is off Red Bird Lane in Pikeville. And for people who aren't familiar with where that is, that's mm -hmm. on the Pike Floyd County line towards Hurricane. So that's basically, a lot of people know that as the Boldman Bridge, mm -hmm. so right at the Pike Floyd County line. And this one is not far, once you cross the bridge, it's right there. It is. It's, as you cross the bridge, you're looking almost right at it. And this is one, it was built in 1995, mm -hmm. but since then has been completely renovated. So it's essentially a new house on the inside, if, if you want to be honest about it. It's got a new custom kitchen. Mm -hmm. it's, um, it's just one that you could walk in and move in. You know, I love that, that you're talking about the custom kitchen. They've done mm -hmm. some tile work. And then on the outside, you've got this big yard space. I mean, it's on an acre of property, which you don't find very often. You don't, especially an acre that's all flat. Mm -hmm. And that's what this is. So you have, if you wanted additional parking space, which you have a nice large driveway that leads up to your two-car garage, but if you wanted additional parking, if you wanted to do an additional garage, if you want to fence in the yard and have play space, if anything you'd want to do, you've got the space to do it. And then on the inside, three bedrooms, two bathrooms, you know, almost 1,500 square feet. This is a nice size home. It is, and that 1,500 square feet, the great thing about this house, that is above grade living. You actually have a family room and utility room below grade because it's a split level house. So right. it's not all the way a basement, but it is below grade living space that's completely finished. And that adds another 800 square feet onto this. So you're talking total almost 2,300 square feet of living space. Yeah, this is one that I'll bet you pictures just aren't going to do it justice. No, it doesn't. It's one that I really recommend people see if this is the price range in the area they want to be in. And that price is two sixty nine five. So mm -hmm. this is your listing. Uh, let's throw your email address out there, and we'll go between email and phone throughout okay. the show. Okay. The email is jbrown at rbnw.com. All right. And when you do give Jennifer a call or an email, 106198 is the number for that particular listing. Mm -hmm. Okay. Now, staying in Pike County, we'll move to the next one in the Coal Run community. Mm -hmm. And this one's on Tolly Lane. Tolly Lane. And we have actually talked about this one before, but this is one that I love showing on here because it's such a fun house and it's one that I think the pictures just... It make it, they make it look so amazing, and it truly is. Well, the big thing that catches me is the yard space. Mm -hmm. And then you look at when you get when you get this house, you're going to get three and a half acres, and a big part of that is flat. And I know we've mentioned before, you don't find that very often right here outside of Pikeville. Right. You do have a lot of usable yard space with this house. And if anything, if you don't need the extra yard, it just gives you that feeling of privacy. And I always kind of talk about this one as being the mountain retreat because it's a log house. And mm -hmm. you can see in the picture, it kind of is picturesque sitting back in there. And that land around you, it just gives you that feeling of having that privacy you know, surrounding you. And one thing that we haven't mentioned is this is right off of US 23 in Coal Run. Mm -hmm. So, and you can't tell that by looking at these pictures. And that's one of the great things about this house is you've got the convenience 
right there to US 23, to Pikeville, to Coal Run, mm -hmm. but yet you feel like you are miles outside the city. Exactly, and you are right off 23, but you are just at the point where you can't see 23. So it's the perfect distance for convenience, like you said. And then this one just has tons of square footage, a lot of space to use. You've got, um, again, this one has above and below grade space. So you've got almost 3,800 square feet above grade, mm -hmm. which includes four bedrooms. And then below grade, you have another almost 1,250 square feet that's all finished with a family room, an office, a kitchenette. You've got a full bath down there. So you have... You're pushing 5,000 on yes, square feet really of living, are. finished living space. Yes, exactly. What, four bedrooms, and then mm -hmm. you've got three full baths and two half baths. Correct. So tons of bathroom space. That just speaks large family to me. Yes, No absolutely. arguing over these bathrooms in this house. Absolutely. And um, again, it just has a lot of rooms to do with whatever. You've got a loft that you could make an office, a workout room, a playroom, you know, you just have a lot of a lot of space to do what you'd want to do. So if you do go see this house and Jennifer takes you, make sure you bring mm -hmm. a notepad because they're <laughs> going to take a lot of notes on what you want to do with this space. Absolutely. I hope so. <laughs> okay. Now this one, 549.9 is what it's listed for. So if that's the market that you're in, Jennifer, definitely this is one they need to see. Absolutely. I highly recommend setting up a showing if this is this is what you're looking for. Okay, give us that number to the Pikeville office. Okay, 606-437-2333. All right, 105-994 is that listing for the home on Tolly Lane. All right, now let's move out on the other side of Pikeville to Fife Ford. Now this okay. one's on Chloe Road, but still in the city limits. Yes, this one is right kind of on the edge of going out of the city limits, mm -hmm. but you're still in, so you've got all the city amenities, but you do have a sense of privacy. This one has um, some land with it. You've got a little less than an acre, but mm -hmm. you feel like you're sitting up there kind of by yourself, so this is a great property for somebody who likes the city living without having to live in the city. And just like the house we just talked about, this one's, you've got a big stone fireplace. Mm -hmm. And I love that because it's a two-story living room, which gives you that feeling of like that big loft, lodge type feel as well. Exactly. And this one has the, the wood uh, detailing and trim. You've got the wood beams in the living room, like you said, the mm -hmm. stone fireplace. Um, and then this one, the great thing that people love about this house, directly over the garage is a huge open recreation space. You can see in the picture that it's got a pool table in it. Mm -hmm. And this is, you see pool tables in this area and sometimes they don't exactly fit the rooms they're put in. Uh -huh. You know, you can kind of damage the walls and that. This is one where the pool table actually fits. Like you have plenty of room <laughs> for that back, kind of yeah. stuff. Yeah. But in the, in the main area, you know, you've got three bedrooms, two and a half bathrooms, over 2,500 square feet. So mm -hmm. another nice size home. Absolutely. It's a really nice size house. And like I said, you do have some yard space. It ha comes with an above ground pool, a private deck. You have a private driveway. So you really have a lot with this house. And this one was just reduced. So we want to make sure and highlight that price. All right. And it was reduced <laughs> to one ninety four nine. So you're getting all that under two hundred thousand mm -hmm. dollars so not a bad price not at all um, let's throw your email address out there again okay the email is jbrown at rbnw.com okay one zero six zero eight seven for that home that we just talked about on five fork which is in pikeville now going south on us 23 after you get out of the pikeville city limits the next listing is on collie hills that's correct. Collie Hills, this one's at Rachel Court, which is when you go up to the top of Collie Hills, mm -hmm. you kind of stay straight. So it's, it's, you don't really turn right or left when you get up there, you stay straight. This house will come up on your left. This is a ranch house, which most of them up there are, mm -hmm. but this is one of the more open layouts that I've seen up there. It's a very open concept. Your living room, dining room, kitchen are all very open. So if you're a fan of entertaining, this is a great house entertaining, you know, bringing the large families over mm -hmm. for, I mean, we just had Easter dinner not too long ago. I'm sure this would have been a great house for that. So looking forward to Thanksgivings and Christmases, this is a home that's perfect for those family gatherings. Absolutely. And it's been, that kitchen that we were just talking about has been mm -hmm. updated. They've done some new uh, countertops in there, new light fixtures, and then they did a really pretty, a little bit more contemporary tile um, in the kitchen and in the bathrooms fairly recently. And then on the outside, I see 
that it's got a fenced in yard. Mm -hmm. And that's popular for anyone with families or pets that you, you don't have to worry about if you've got that pet that likes to get out and run about, mm -hmm. okay, where are we going to fence in the yard? Where can we put the dog run? This is already there. Absolutely. And the way that this lot is situated, you actually have a pretty private lot. I mean, you're up there in a subdivision, mm -hmm. but you really don't have anybody on one side of you. So you really have a very semi-private lot location. And it's so convenient to Pikeville mm -hmm. because you're only minutes outside of the Pikeville city limits. So if you're, you know, you like to travel anywhere south, you know, that's convenient to do that also, but yet you're right outside of Pikeville. Yes, exactly. It's a great location. All right. So give you a call on this one. This Absolutely. Yeah, they can call the Pikeville office. That number is 606-437-2333. The price on this one, $182,000, so not bad for everything you're getting right there uh, in Collie Hills. Absolutely. Okay, now we're, we're moving along quickly Hello. today. Our last listing today is out kind of in the county a little bit, but mm -hmm. a lot of people like that seclusion. And this one's on Indian Creek. This one's on Indian Creek, and this is one I actually love talking about this house. We get a lot of calls on this house because of the location mm -hmm. and because of the price. So it's in one of those price ranges that tends to get a lot of attention. But this is an older house. The thing with this one is it's not an older house that you're going to have to come in and spend thousands and thousands of dollars unless you just want to to personalize it. Right. This is one that's got the older house charm, but it's really been kept up and updated, and it's ready for somebody to move in. Well, I mean, looking at the pictures, you can tell that with the trim, um, with the cabinets in the kitchen. It mm -hmm. looks like a, a modern paint scheme. So somebody has really taken the time to update it and then keep it that way. Absolutely, absolutely. And it's got about 1,300 square feet. It's got some newer flooring, new light fixtures, new heat pump, and a new full bathroom. This one is also one that's convenient to Pikeville, right outside of Pikeville. And a lot of people who live in the city and, and go through the hustle and bustle and traffic love that escape at the end of the day to be able to say, I'm going to go home. Yes. And I'm going to get out of the city. Yes, and this is one, you know, there's all kinds of grocery store access over there. You've got um, the new elementary school, that direction. Mm -hmm. You have everything that you need very, very close. So this is one, if you like having a little elbow room, this is the perfect place to go. And then one thing you talked about is even though, you know, you're looking at 13, right at 1,300 square feet, mm -hmm. the layout is very good for that size house. It really is. This is a really, the rooms are nice size. You actually have a bedroom with a walk-in closet that can double as an office, which you don't see a whole lot in 1,300 square foot houses. So you can tell it's a very nice layout. And then you've got three bedrooms. So mm -hmm. great for a family or like you said, someone who works at home wants that home office. Absolutely, absolutely. Okay, this one also your listing, and mm -hmm. like you said, the price was attractive, $95,000. So a lot of people, like you said, their eyebrows just perked up because we just described a wonderful home for under $100,000. So let's uh, give your phone number again for the Pikeville office. Okay, that's 606-437-2333. And this listing at Indian Creek is 106246, is that MLS number. But no matter where we've got people watching today, mm -hmm. I mean, they're li we're in homes all across eastern Kentucky. You guys have those four offices, so any one of those offices can help with any of these listings. Absolutely, and if this is your first time joining us for the Real Estate Show, every week we do try to cover different counties. So mm -hmm. make sure you tune back in because we'll definitely cover stuff a little bit farther away from Pikeville in the future weeks. Okay, now it's time to end the show with Jennifer's Real Estate Minute. Today, let's discuss the constantly asked question, should I rent or should I buy? Obviously, your personal finances and buying ability would come into consideration when answering this question. But assuming you're ready and capable to purchase, the answer would most probably be to buy. Typically, buying a home is considered a smart financial decision because you're building equity in your own investment. Owning a home also instills a feeling of pride and responsibility that as a realtor, we love to see. If you're considering purchasing a home, now is a great time. New spring listings are being posted daily. The agents of Red Brown and Williams would be honored to assist you to find your new home. Just give one of our four offices a call. Thank you for joining us for this week's show. We hope to hear from you soon about buying your new house.